Howdy, you soldiers. I'm feeling a little down today, so you know what? I'm gonna throw some red lipstick on and fake it till I make it. Also, please excuse the hair. It's raining outside and my hair is just not having it. So just the other day, I was at the HarperCollins Fall Preview. Looks like this. And while I was there, I got some swag. So let's do another unboxing. I would also like to mention that I have exercised extreme self-control in this circumstance because we got these, what was this? I'm uploading this on like a Monday or Tuesday and I got these on Sunday and I haven't opened them or even looked at what I have yet. And uh, I'm gonna dedicate this video to all of my friends who went with me to that event who have been harping on me to open it. <laughs> so the first thing is this tote bag, which uh, is advertising a number of things, which is a book by Jane Urquhart that is a collection of essays about things she loves about Canada. So I think that's kind of a, a cool idea. Also the thing I'm gonna share with you guys first is something that I won because they were doing trivia and I got some stuff that I'm excited about. The first which being this really lovely notebook that has a Neil Gaiman quote on the front of it and we were all assorted in tables and when they said, and next is a Neil Gaiman notebook, everyone at my table went <gasps> and I swear my hand was up before the person had finished asking the question. <laughs> The event also had an author come with them, so I got to meet Kenneth Opal as he was advertising his new book out called Every Hidden Thing that has to do with the son and daughter of opposing paleontologists while they try to find the very first T-Rex skeleton. Like Romeo and Juliet meets Indiana Jones meets Jurassic Park. Plus the main character's name is Rachel and I'm really into paleontology so I'm sure I'm gonna love this. And he signed it for me! And relating to that, I also won in a prize thing this t-shirt with a quote on it from the book that is actually quite nice and it goes I hoped that when they found us, me and you, we'd be entwined together just like this amongst the dinosaurs in the ruins of the world. I'm probably gonna sleep in this. Yeah, Dinosaurs! Ah. Alright, gonna open the poster. What's this uh, all these previews giving away posters? I mean, not that I'm complaining. Oh, It's a poster of the alphabet! There's a children's book coming out called Canada ABC, and so I guess this is just the, uh, the preview. R is for railroad! H is for hockey, duh. A is for arctic. Cute! Oh my god, bookmarks. Okay. Ah uh, yes, The Wonder by Emma Donahue, which is her new book after Room and Frog Music. I might perhaps read it. It's in the Irish countryside in like the 1700s, maybe. Oh, for another bookmark for every hidden thing, I'm gonna read every hidden thing with my every hidden thing bookmark. And I have paper! Okay, what's this? Ah, The Escapist! This actually sounds like a really cool book and I might actually read this. I'm not really big into nonfiction. But I just might. And it's about a man who made it his mission to climb the highest and second highest mountain peak in every single country. And he has this reputation for having ridiculously good luck. He had once fallen 200 meters off of a mountain and just walked away like nothing happened. So people say that he is the escapist as all these things keep happening to him, but he's still alive. Second thing is the essential books of the season guide. So what's in here? Oh, okay, we got food. More Jamie Oliver. So Kitchen 101, obviously. All right, where's the YA stuff? Because, I mean, really, that's what I'm here for. Aha, the last page. What's up with that? da 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 Three Dark Crowns. Holy crap, read it, loved it. Red Queen. Holy crap, read it, loved it. Replica by Lauren Oliver. Holy crap, love Lauren Oliver. The Thousandth Floor. Holy crap, what a really interesting idea. And I do have the art copy of it, but I haven't read it yet. Oops. Get a double. Every hidden thing. Holy crap, I own this. And also, er my god, I got a first look at Veronica Frost Carved Love Mark because holy crap, I want to read this so bad. It's Veronica Roth, and it's Star Wars, and the cover is just, oh, it's so pretty! No, I'm a sucker for a pretty cover. Everyone that says otherwise is lying to you. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did in my Rain Coast unboxing, that I'm not going to read this. I'm just gonna admire it, because I don't want to be hanging on to scraps of a story. I want to know the whole thing. So this is just gonna, like, go on my wall or something as decoration. Oh, hey, there's also books in here, which is one of the whole reasons that I got one of these swag bags. Okay, not a lot of YA in this deck, but that's okay. First one is Map of Bones by James Rowlands. Seems like all action-packed and kind of like Da Vinci Code meets James Bond meets like some ancient culture, I don't know, maybe. Ooh, what this? Dragon Springs Road by Jane Chang. I do not know this. What is this about? This is about a young half European, half Chinese girl who is facing prejudice from both sides of her family, goes to live with another family, 
and has a fox spirit, so like that's kind of cool, and then becomes friends with an English girl, and then that whole thing just blows up and that's not good or whatever. So this is on sale January 10th of next year, 2017. Ooh, Wilbur Smith with his new book, Pharaoh, and I am truly not really into Wilbur Smith, this really isn't my thing. Uh, but if you are, this is out. It's out in October. Okay. I don't know exact day, but on the back it just says October. So, sometime very soon. And that's it! There's my haul from HarperCollins Vet. Thank you to Kate and Corey who invited me and for coming out to Vancouver because, I mean, all the events were like in Toronto. And I'm like, guys, like, we need some love over on the West Coast, alright? Just please come back. Now I have to go clean out the ginormous mess I made by just throwing stuff all over my floor. Hope you guys are having a nice day wherever you are and I will see you all next week. Bye!